Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy. This is Dabura, or Dabura, as he's called in Japanese. Um, I... I'm not too um, optimistic about old Dabura's um, prospects here. Let's uh, jump into some events. Um, uh, let's... Uh, Let's see how good old Deborah is, but uh, this guy does not look too good to me. Funny enough, I do think Deborah could uh, be a Dokkan Fest at some point. I think so. The thing about Deborah is he does so many... Just in his fight with Gohan and Fatbu, Deborah does a lot of interesting shit. And I, he, I, I think, could easily get a Dokkan Fest. I would probably argue Deborah above Videl in terms of a character that should get a Dokkan Fest. I would probably still argue Videl is the absolute bottom. I would put Pan above Videl in terms of deserving a Dokkan Fest. Obviously, Ginyu and Raditz are way more deserving. Um, but yeah. Alright. Um, and plus, we need villain characters always. Let's go ahead and hop in um, and see how this uh, Baba Shop EZA Deborah is going to be. Again, not... Uh, whew, uh, my hopes are not high. Alright, guys. We are here in an event with our boy Deborah. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So, Deborah is very similar to a lot of these other Baba Shop EZA characters, right? He's going to have sort of the same baseline of abilities here. Um, he does get 30% defense from a super attack effect, which is fine. Uh, the big problem with these characters, though, is needing all these orbs. I Maybe if they created their own orbs, that could certainly help a bit more. Right, Deborah gets the 30% attack and defense and a high chance to stun the attacked enemy with three key spheres. Now, the stun... Could certainly be good in Super Battle Road stages. I mean, here's a bit of the issue here, though. Uh, poor Deborah, right, has Boo Saga, Sibling Bond, Terrifying Conquerors, and Corroded Body and Mind. Not exactly a ton of spots to use him. He does support Int types, though. Uh, he gives, right, the Int type uh, two key 30% attack and defense. Then he also gets a 50% attack and defense with five or more key spheres obtained. I do think... This Deborah, just looking at his kit, knowing, like, you know, using the previous Baba Shop EZAs, I guess we just started with Nappa and we'll go in reverse, right? Uh, physical, STR, Int, Tech, EGL. I think that the villain characters, especially, so um, Deborah and Nappa, could be useful in Battlefield, especially for a lot of free to play players, because I think Battlefield is, like, pretty uncommon. Or, um, it, it's, a uh, uh, villain characters, right? Like, a lot of free-to-play players, stuff like that, I think, are not gonna really have as many good uh, villain characters. So, Deborah, you know, you're running a full villain setup in there. Could be pretty solid. Um, now, this is funny. So, Deborah's Link set, right? He has Brutal Beatdown, Loyalty, Master of Magic, Majin Resurrection Plan, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, and Shadow Limit. Now, if you guys are, uh, paying attention... Loyalty is, I think, one of the strongest links in the game. This is two key, 5% damage reduction. So one of the reasons I'm running Deborah on, the, on Ginyu's Terrifying Conqueror team is we could potentially activate that right there. Um, okay, so we will be able to get all the orbs we need, right? So for Deborah to have his full abilities, he needs three key spheres, five key spheres, and it has to be at least three int key spheres, which we will get right here. So we go from 77k defense. What are we going to jump up to? We jump up to 116k. All right, so he gets 120% uh, from on super attack, uh, attack and defense, and then the 30% defense for one turn. This is not good enough. Oh, brother. This is a little low for me. Uh, they, these stats are not good enough. Um, considering the high orb cost as well, oof. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, Tabora is not going to have the luxury that Master Roshi had, where, you know, we could be running him on this insane, like, you know, Dragon Ball Saga team with the Kid Goku's flying everywhere, literally carrying the team to the heavens just with how ridiculous Kid Goku is. Uh, Tabora doesn't have the luxury of uh, Kid Goku floating around this team, giving him everything, right? I, I, I'll i be honest, I, just at an initial glance already, I feel like this Dabora is Battlefield, and that's it, I, I think, is probably what we're going to see from this guy. Um, okay, I mean, we'll keep these same couple of links active with Vegeta, 
94k right here. I mean, this is a pretty... I'm going to do orb changing just because this is a very decent rotation. Um, you know, having Vegeta and Garlic Jr. here, we're getting 90% support. So I think I would like to do orb changing so we could see Deborah with his full passive up right here. I, of course, am going to want to make sure to get a rotation or two where he doesn't have his passive and stuff like that. 133 right here. Again, he gets 120% um, on super attack, and then he's going to get the 30% from his super attack effect. But it's still like... He, he's still, like, he's gonna get over 300k, but 300k is not the magic number. I, if, if there's, like, a magic defense number, especially for extreme class units, I would argue it's 400k, not 300. 400, at, at, for some of these characters, you'd want them to at least be able to double-digit tank um, red zone bosses normals. I feel like if you can at least do that, that is good. But not, uh... Not be able to, you know, if you're taking 90k per normal from these red zone bosses, you're done, right? Like, it's not, that's not going to be ideal. Um, let's look at Devora a couple more rotations. I do want to get him next to Xeno Devora. Um, and I, I would like to see him with, like, no orbs. But uh, this guy is looking pretty bad to me. All right, guys. We will continue to get a couple more rotations for Devora before we finish up. I actually don't even really know how much... Dude, Jabor's, Jabor's sprite is gigantic. Oh, my God. Jabor is huge. Like, the way he kind of leans into the orbs like that. Again, I always bring this up. This Namek Vegeta is kind, kind of smallish. Go look at um Angel Cell. Angel Cell is like a little babby right there. He is so tiny. Um, Okay. Let's do this rotation. Next rotation, we'll be able to have Deborah next to Xeno Deborah and the 50% support Vegeta, which will be good. Um, and then after that, I do just want to make sure we get a rotation where we see Deborah with only, like, one orb. I am highly unimpressed. I, I think between Deborah's wonky Link set, which is including bullshit, like, Majin Resurrection Plan and Master of Magic, I just don't see... Um, any use for Deborah again it, it would battlefield I think you you know especially free to play players could probably utilize this guy effectively in battlefield I really do think so um and then maybe if there's like um some easy a I guess it Deborah would be good for the tech super saiyan 3 broly easy a right like like some easy a that needs int characters maybe this Deborah could be good right but that's I don't, like, I don't, you're not going to want to run this guy in, like, Super Battle Road and stuff like that. I don't think so, dude. Um, I mean, sure, he's got that high chance to stun the attacked enemy. But, I mean, that's, it's only a one-turn stun. Maybe if it was a two-turn stun, that could be quite a bit more effective, for sure. But it's not, <laughs> right? All right, now this might be his best turn right here um, that we'll see from him. Because next to Xeno Deborah, we, of course, have got a lot up right here. Let's go ahead and get our orbs. By the way, Deborah is able to super attack at what key level does he super at? Nine key. Deborah can also super at nine key. I guess that could be useful. I guess. I. If he was stronger, maybe I'd care more. <laughs> Honestly. But, all right, so we have everything activated except for... Majin Resurrection Plan. Let me take a look at Majin Resurrection Plan real fast. So, this is Majin Resurrection Plan. This gives two key 20% defense. We can get that activated with Bobbity and Debora. I, I think we'll probably do... Uh, uh, there's two more things I want to see after this. I guess Debora with all seven links up, and then Debora with one uh, key sphere. We'll, we'll do those two things. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what damage we're going to get from our boy Debora right here. Um, and, uh, see if that can be good. Um, okay, okay, let's see. Sure, 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 yep, full power freezer, we gotcha. Alright. Deborah. Can he break uh, past the confines of a 4 million attack stat this time? 4, 4.3! God damn! He's ass, yeah. And his damage goes down because he... Ooh, yeah, that <laughs> that's funny. That's that's an area where the the super attacking at lower key levels actually hurts him because when he does the additional super, it gives you the minimum, right? So he's supering with nine key on the additional, and you could see there's quite a bit less damage he does as a con as a consequence of that. So it's almost that 
can be a bit of a debuff if you're going for additionals. That's funny. Yeah, this Tabora, he does not seem good. Damn. All right, guys, this will be a good rotation right here. Um, we'll have a few links activated, but more importantly, um, I want to just do, a, like, again, a, a rotation where we're not, you know, getting all of the orb buffs and stuff like that for Deborah. So let's see. Oof. Oh, man, 76 defense. He gets 120% when he supers and then 30% on super attack effect. What were they thinking? I, I just, wow. Deborah? This guy feels like one of the worst characters we've looked at in quite some time i guess i really do want to keep in mind that he is supporting he does give in type key two and 30 percent of stats but it's like it's only in type man right like why did they leave them as just mono supports i i, I don't understand all right, guys, we might as well get this rotation in, I guess. Um, we'll be able to get, uh, you know, all of our orbs for Deborah, which is fine. Um, with the LR Bobbini and Deborah, we do share a lot of links. So we're going to have everything active here except for loyalty, which is two key and damage reduction. But I, just for the novelty, um, I do want to get a rotation where we have Deborah with all seven of his links activated. It just feels like a good rotation to get uh for the video right actually this is probably gonna finish this janemba off huh well whatever all right so let's go ahead and uh just go jump into a run we'll get all seven links activated and then i'm done here because yeah this this devor is ass dude he's pretty bad all right here we go we got the rotation that i wanted we will have to do a little bit of orb changing i mean i guess this is this is the thing, right? In order for this character to be consistently getting their full passive, I mean, five key spheres will definitely be tough for a character of this level, but also needing three int type key spheres? I just don't know what they were thinking. Um, it's almost like they forgot to make these characters orb changers. Seriously, it, it, it is, right? Um, so we're at 66k defense right there. Let's go ahead and hit this. <clears throat> so now he gets all of his buffs from his orbs. 112k here of course is us with all seven links activated all right now let us see um what deborah gets for us um my hopes are not really too high uh for good old deborah man uh just with this link set the small amount of category teams i i think the orb restrictions one of the biggest things is these orb restrictions are way too high in these characters right these baba shop eza characters they should be probably stacking defense as well and it's just such a bummer because like characters like Dabora and max power master roshi and krillin and great saiyan man they could have made them uber busted right like these are really like small niche bad category teams it's it's just really such a bummer all right, this is Strike from On High, Deborah. Um, his leader skill is Int Type Key 3, 90% of stats. Super Attack is the Evil Impulse, which raises defense by 30% for one turn and does supreme damage to the enemy. His passive skill, Demon King's Rule, gives him 120% attack and defense when performing a super attack. He gets 30% attack and defense and a high chance of stunning the attacked enemy with three or more key spheres obtained. I, all five of the characters, their like little ability here with three key spheres, it's not good enough on any of them. Any of them. I, maybe Krillin's is the best. I, I, same man can dodge, but like, damn. I, these units are just a big disappointment. At least Roshi could do damage, but I mean, Roshi's next to Kid Goku. I mean, any unit looks good next to him, right? Um... So yeah, the 30% attack and defense high chance to stun the attacked enemy with three more key spheres obtained. Remember, that's a one-turn stun only for that turn. It's not even two turns. If it was a two-turn stun, that would be a lot, a, quite a bit better. Um, then he gets an additional 50% attack and defense with five or more key spheres obtained. He gives int types key two and 30% attack and defense. Um, and then int types get an additional 10% attack and defense uh, with three or more int key spheres obtained. His link set is Brutal Beatdown. Loyalty, Master of Magic, Majin Resurrection Plan, Nightmare, Fear, and Faith, Shattering the Limit. I I mean, I guess, like, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear, and Faith are pretty common, but, I like, if they would do my idea of a Debora Dokkan Fest, I would hope that they make him, like, Kid Goku, um, right? Because, like, that Link set could spell trouble if they don't give him what he needs. 
Uh, his 12Q multiplier is 140%, sort of the typical number right there. And then again, Deborah is not exactly on a ton of teams. Boo Saga. You know what's funny? Boo Saga throughout the game's history has been just relentlessly two-hand stroke. But the Boo Saga team has definitely fallen out. The seventh anniversary of Power Creep crushed most of the game, right? I, again, I, I would like to advise people not to fear eighth anniversary as much. I The jump to 200% leader skills, we're not going to feel a jump like this probably for a while if it does happen again, right? Um, I, I just really want people to understand that the, the issue with that um, was the 200% leader skills, right? That's why so much of the game's landscape changed. And the Boo Saga team, most of these characters have just completely fallen off. So Boo Saga's in a very uh, bad spot. Siblings Bond, not necessarily a great team for Deborah, probably. I don't know. Uh, Terrifying Conquerors is, you know, the best villain team. I assume this is where we could probably utilize him effectively here. Um, and then finally, Corroded Body and Mind. So, uh, poor little Deborah. Um, his performance did not wow me. Uh, his link set is not great. He's not on a lot of good categories. I'm glad I gave him equips and a sticker. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, he was awesome. No, he sucks. <laughs>